Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here, and in today's video, I will be talking about the Washington football team releasing 10 players, including wide receiver Isaiah Wright, quarterback Steven Montez, which we talked about in yesterday's video, and eight other players, so we'll talk about that in today's video, but if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. I am super, super close to 6,000 subscribers, and it would really mean a ton if you guys could help me get there. Also, hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get right into the video. Quick disclaimer, I am recording this at about 10.30 on Monday night, but I'll have this out early on Tuesday morning, so Hopefully nothing major changes and I'll have a couple of videos out, you know, once the rosters are made or if there are any big cuts earlier in the day. Um, but like I said, the Washington football team released wide receiver Isaiah Wright and, you know, unfortunate for him. And it's crazy the difference from last year's wide receiver core to this year's core. I mean, last year we start our, you know, we had starters on our wide receiving core um, in the playoff games that were just guys that aren't even making rosters now in someone like Jeff Bidette, Robert Foster, Dontrell Inman. All those guys are gone. Isaiah Wright made the roster last year. He is gone. Someone like you know, Steven Sims made the roster last year. He is gone. Kelvin Harmon uh, didn't make the roster last year, but if he didn't tear his ACL, he would have made the roster. He made the roster the year before. He is gone. So our wide receiving core has you know just a complete overhaul, and I think AGG will make the roster, but that's not confirmed yet. So if he doesn't make the roster, that's only two of the receivers that were on the roster last year that are on this year. And that is, you know, Terry McLaurin and Cam Sims. And Cam Sims didn't even start the year on the roster last year because he was on the practice squad. So I love the overhaul at the wide receiver position. And, you know, uh, Isaiah Wright it was talented, you know, coming out of Temple. I actually thought he was going to make the roster. And once he made the roster, I thought he was going to have a little bit more of an impact than he did. And early on, they, you know, used him a little bit. And he was playing pretty well. And then he kind of plateaued a little bit as the season went on and really didn't grow and even regressed a little bit. Uh, and Scott Turner started, you know, involve him less and less in the game plan. And, you know, unfortunate, he's a little, he's pretty talented. I think he'll, you know, get another opportunity somewhere, maybe not on a roster, but on a practice squad early on. And maybe he can get onto a roster spot eventually in the next year or two. Um, and, you know, if he doesn't, if he clears waivers, I think Washington would love to have him back on the practice squad. And he's another guy. I wouldn't trust him, but you could have him as your punt returner. If he's on the practice squad, you can call him up if Dax Milne or DeAndre Carter don't make the team or if they're not on your practice squad. Okay, so some other cuts that the Washington football team made, and we'll have a full list out for you guys in a couple minutes. But the Washington football team released tight end Caleb Wilson. So currently, as of 10.35 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday night, there are only four tight ends on the roster. Logan Thomas, John Bates, Samus Reyes, and Ricky Seals-Jones. We'll see who makes it. I think Samus Reyes will be on the roster, and I think they'll keep three tight ends, but there's a possibility that they do keep four, and Ricky Seals-Jones is their fourth, but I think Ricky Seals-Jones can clear waivers and you know again a lot of these guys are practice squad candidates they were on the roster for a reason the team liked them and you know some of these guys at positions where they don't have great depth like tight end I think that they'll try to get some and you know positions like offensive line where you know they have solid depth but it's a position where you can't be banged up at and you got to have some bodies so they'll definitely bring back a lot of the offensive linemen probably the defensive lineman, you know, players where, uh, you know, they need depth that or some young guys like, you know, William Bradley King, Shaka Tony, Dax Milne. If any of those guys don't make the uh, active roster and they clear waivers, then those guys are definitely going to be practice squad guys. But some of those guys will get picked up if we do move on from him, but Caleb, or from them. Caleb Wilson, though, never really thought he was going to make the roster. He did play pretty well on special teams, though, but that's pretty much it. So moving on, to another notable, somewhat notable name, Cole Luke, safety slash corner. You know, early in camp, he he was looking pretty good, making some plays, but then once DeShazer Everett 
came back. He kind of took most of his reps, and we really didn't hear much from him. So, you know, Cole Luke, again, with all of these players, pretty much every single one of them, they are practice squad candidates. I know they only have 16 spots, but still, a lot of these guys, if they don't go, uh, if they don't get claimed, you know, Washington will consider bringing them in because I think it's 16 spots and Washington has a 17th with David Bottas. So they'll probably, you know, bring back most of these guys, especially players that played under Ron before. And Cole Luke is one of those guys. So, you know, he was on the roster the last few games of the season last year. And, you know, he's probably going to be on the practice squad because, you know, played for Ron before and, you know, uh, yeah, he's he's a solid player, but he's not someone you want on your opening day lineup. You know, hopefully he lands somewhere and maybe even on Washington's practice squad. So right here, here is the list of all the players that the Washington football team released so far. So they're down to 70 players right now. Uh, they got to cut down to 53 by 4 p.m. So that's 17 players. Steven Montez, Jonathan Williams, Isaiah Wright. Tony Brown, Caleb Wilson, John Toth, uh, Lawrence, Joe Walker, Lyndon Stevens, Cole Luke. I mean, the only guys that I could see right there that maybe don't make the practice squad is maybe Lyndon Stevens, someone like Joe Walker. Those guys, maybe they don't make the practice squad, but I think they would like to, you know, have someone like Steve Montez, Jonathan Williams, Isaiah Wright, maybe Tony Brown. Um, and some of these other guys we will see, though, uh, going to be really interesting rest of the day. You know, cuts are going to be made and we still have a lot of questions. You know, how many tight ends will they keep? How many offensive linemen? You know, the safeties, are they going to keep Derek Forrest? Are they going to IR him and then bring back someone like Jeremy Reeves? I mean, it's going to be really interesting, you know, uh, Tuesday, really, really interesting to see how everything works out because they have a lot of decisions to be made. And then also what happens after the 4 p.m. deadline? Once they get to the 53, who do they put on IR? Do they put Tory McTire on IR? Do they put, you know, uh, Derek Forrest on IR? Because if you put a player on on IR before the season starts. Again, I want to say this so people remember. If you put a player on IR before the season starts, he's out for the whole season. If you put him on IR after the season starts, I'm pretty sure with these new IR rules, you can bring him back whenever you want and he won't take a roster spot when he is on IR. So they could do that with someone like Derek Forrest, possibly, uh, you know, Tory McTire if he's... Uh, injured and a, maybe Casey Tuell, uh, Casey Tuell as well, and that'll open up some spots. I really think they they might keep five linebackers to start, but I think they'll bring in a cup, you know, one other linebacker because uh, to keep six because their linebacking core right now does not look pretty at all. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video. You know, a lot of players were cut. No really big names so far besides, I guess, a little bit Isaiah right? Not, you know, expected to make the roster. There was a little bit of a chance for him, um, but that's really it. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I will have, you know, updates out. Probably I won't be able to do, you know, stuff throughout the day until about 3, but after that I'll have a bunch of videos out. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.